What's up everyone? My name is Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about beach reads. So to me, beach reads have like a few requirements. They have to be fairly short. They have to be fast paced. They have to have like a reasonably simple plot set up. No elaborate fantasy world building. And they have to not make me cry. I don't want to cry on the beach. Other than that, I'll read from like any genre. So let's get into the books. If you weren't already tired of me talking about it, first up is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This is pretty long for an adult romance. It's more than 400 pages, but it reads pretty quickly. It follows our main character, Alex Claremont Diaz, who is in a more optimistic 2019, the son of the first female president, who has a sort of long-standing rivalry with Prince of Wales, the second son of the princess. So after an international incident at a royal event, their publicists put together like a fake friendship that they have to do in order to smooth things over and they become friends and then a romance develops from there. This is so freaking cute, <laughs> but also has some like deeper themes, growing up, coming of age, um, career paths, even some like mental health struggles and friendship dynamics. Just overall a really solid book. I loved this one. Definitely recommend it for a beach read. And you should definitely take a picture. This book belongs on a beach. Like, it's so pretty. Okay, next, another romance. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren. This is a good short book. It follows Josh and Hazel. Josh, who is recently single, and Hazel, who has trouble finding a guy. And they set each other up on blind dates and go on blind double dates together. And, you know, romance develops from there. It is another cute, sweet, fun romance, but it the focus is really on the romance. There's not a lot else there. But it is laugh out loud funny, so solid beach read. Next is The Summer of Jordi Perez, which I listened to an audiobook, so I don't have a physical copy. But this is a young adult contemporary romance. It follows our main character who runs a plus size fashion blog and for the summer has earned an internship at this boutique that she covets. But it turns out another girl has gotten the internship as well and she develops a little crush on this other girl. It's just like a cute, fun, very summery feeling book. There's a lot about fashion and a lot about food. So another style of beach read. Next, we're taking a turn into some darker stuff. So I have Watchers by Dean Koontz. And I don't have a star rating for this, but I've been rereading it since I was in like the third grade. So I can call it one of my all-time favorite books. And it's like a romantic thriller suspense type deal where our main character one day goes on a hike in the woods and a dog saves him from some mysterious deadly creature. And eventually this dog brings him to to save this woman that he doesn't know and it sort of brings them together. At the same time, this dog is not a regular dog. He's a genius and was some sort of experiment and there's some like government subplots. It's been a while since I reread this so I'm probably muddling this up but this is another good one for the beach. Very suspenseful but also sweet and I just love anything with a dog. <laughs> Next is Dark Matter by Blake Kraut. This is a sci-fi thriller uh, but with a pretty simple plot setup. There's a lot of science but you don't really have to get it to understand the plot of the book. And it's about this man who is attacked on his, what is it, on his way home from work to his wife and child and when he wakes up he is not married, doesn't have a kid, doesn't really understand what's going on or where he is and it follows him from there trying to get home to his family. Another really suspenseful one. I really love to read suspense books on the beach. Don't know what that's about. Next we're taking a turn. Still dark thriller stuff but this one doesn't involve romance at all really. All of the other books had some sort of romantic relationship. So this is Vicious by V.E. Schwab. If you haven't heard of it, it follows two college roommates who are super ambitious and like kind of cutthroat in their ambition. And for their thesis, they work together to investigate near-death experiences and extraordinary abilities. So we're talking like superpowers. It's told in two timelines. The first timeline when they're in college and the second timeline 10 years later when one of them has broken out of prison and is trying to kill the other one. It's filled with like morally gray characters. There's not, there's no really good guys in this book, but there's definitely people that you root for more than others. It's one of my favorite books of all time. The shirt I'm wearing right now is a quote from Vicious. It says, not a fucking sidekick. Just so good. Highly recommend. And last, I have a nonfiction, Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Kaling. This is another short 
easy read. It's just a kind of a memoir for Mindy Kaling, how she got started, a little bit of her like early life and her family. It's another really funny book. It's told in like little snippets of stories, so it's easy to follow. Okay, those are my top recommendations for beach reads. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any favorite beach books or if there's a certain type of book you like to read on the beach. I unfortunately won't be near a beach until September. <sighs> but that gives me plenty of time to collect books, I guess. All right, I post book-related videos every Wednesday, so if you wanna see more, subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. If you wanna keep talking, you can find me on Twitter at Kelsey Reads or Goodreads at Kelsey Lynn Reads. Otherwise, I'll see you next week.